Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the Gospel of Matthew. The last couple of days we've been looking at the passage in Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 through 20, that contained the great confession, where Peter, speaking on behalf of all the disciples, I believe, says to Jesus, we believe that you are the Messiah, the Christ, the Son of the living God. And on this confession of faith, the church is built. And then Jesus talks about this rock. He says to Simon, who made the confession, you're Peter, you're the rock. And on this rock of the confession of faith, I'll build my church. The gates of hell cannot prevail against it. The church is built on the foundation of faith in Jesus, confessing that he is the Savior, he is the Lord, he is the Christ, the Son of God. Now, there's one thing I want to look at in this passage, and that's where Jesus talks about loosing and binding. Uh, now, this is in response to Peter's great confession. Jesus says, I will give to you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Now, this is a difficult passage to interpret in, in terms of the full meaning of what is involved in the loosing and binding and what it means for the church to have the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Uh, there's a lot that's been said about this passage, a lot that's been written about it, uh, and I, we certainly can't give all the full meaning of it here today, but I want to suggest that at least at the foundational level, what it means is that the church has the keys of the kingdom. That is, in our proclamation of the gospel, we are giving people the opportunity to enter into the kingdom. Now, we don't determine who comes in and who stays out, obviously, but we do give the gospel to people, the opportunity to hear the message of Jesus. In that sense, we have the keys. We can open the door to folks by giving them the good news of Jesus, giving them the opportunity to enter the kingdom. Now, they have to believe. That is, they have to come to that confession of faith. But before they can come to that confession, they've got to know what the gospel is. So in, in a very real sense, the church, as the people of Christ, we possess the keys of the kingdom. We give people the opportunity to hear the gospel, to hear about Jesus, to recognize who Jesus is, and then the opportunity to respond in faith if they will so choose. So in that sense, we loosen them from the bondage of this world. We loosen their chains by giving them the gospel. And when they hear it and respond and believe and confess as Peter confessed, when they say, yes, you are the Messiah, yes, you are the Son of God, then they are loosed from their sins. The gospel sets them free through faith in Jesus. So our being in possession of the keys does not mean we have the right to admit or to deny entrance to the kingdom. Oh, no, that's Jesus. But we have the keys in the sense that we offer people the opportunity. We give them the chance to hear the gospel. It's a very important responsibility to be possessors of the keys of the kingdom. That is, possessors of the gospel, the good news of Jesus. And so we try to loose people from that which binds them by giving them the good news about Jesus. Now, what about the binding? Well, if we refuse to give people the gospel, if we refuse to share the testimony, we leave them bound in their sin. We're not using the keys as God has given us. So we should not do that. We, we, we want everyone to be freed. We want everyone to be loose, but we have to give them the opportunity. You know, in the book of, uh, of Romans, when Paul is talking about this, he, he says, how beautiful are the feet of those who share the gospel. He said, how can people believe unless they hear? And how can they hear unless someone gives them the message? We are those who are to give the message because we've received it. We've believed. We've been saved. We're a part of the kingdom. Now we have the keys. So we offer other people the opportunity as well by sharing with them the good news. So having the keys of the kingdom of heaven, it simply means that we have the gospel. We know it. We have it. So let's share it with the world so that others too can hear about Jesus. And by believing, by confessing faith, they too can enter the kingdom of heaven. Oh, let us be testifiers of Jesus. Let us give the good news to a world that needs to hear, that people might believe and through confessing their faith in Jesus, might be saved and might enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen and amen. You have a great day today, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time 
in our five-minute Bible study in the Gospel of Matthew.